Sri Guru Bhyonamaha. We are in the third lesson of uh, entrepreneurship. Let me start this with a quotation from one of the um, role model entrepreneur the world has ever seen, Steve Jobs. You know, he's the founder of Apple Computer and his company has made a very big difference in the way we communicate. There's a beautiful quotation. He says, your time is limited. So don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinion drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. In fact, this is the mindset of an entrepreneur. See, we are all used to, most of us for that matter, maybe 90% of us are used to pursuing an education, completing an education and picking up a job and growing in a job. Very few families have this um, practice of starting on their own. So in this context, this quotation of uh, Steve Jobs is very, very important. You have to choose whether you want to live your own dream. If your dream is to become an entrepreneur, pursue it. But go about it systematically. That's why we are taking up a subject called entrepreneurship. I told you the Mindset is very, very important. The mindset of an entrepreneur, the mindset of a person. For example, we are different because of our mindset. The word mindset means the established set of attitudes held by someone. The established set of attitudes. Uh, let's say that there is a researcher. His mindset is to research everything. If there is a scientist, we talk about the scientist mindset. A scientist will look at everything from the point of view of science. A sportsman, for example, his mindset is to become competitive, to participate in every sports activity. A sportsman will have the mindset of taking failure as a part of the game. So an entrepreneur also has a mindset. Today, we are going to discuss what is the mindset of an entrepreneur and who is an entrepreneur. Let me start this with a very interesting discussion. Let's say that you have money. Then you go to the market and you see a product like this. So there is a product and you have money. Normally what we will do, our mindset is, we'll start uh, looking at it. Um, is it uh, required? How this is made? Then how we can use it for ourselves? Right, this is our mindset. But if an entrepreneur looks at it, he will look at the money on one hand and the product on the other hand and start thinking how I can make this product to sell in the market. Immediately his mind will think, is this product a sellable commodity? Can I market it? Can I manufacture it? So the same money in our hand, the same product we see, they also see. But the mindset is different. 
we buy things for our own use. But the entrepreneur looks at things which can be marketed for others. That's the difference. This is why the mindset is different. So, let us look at this chart, this list of uh, characteristics of an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is a person who develops and owns his own enterprise, his own enterprise. As I said in the previous episode, we have the choice to become an entrepreneur or to go and work for somebody. If you work for somebody, that place which is called enterprise is not yours. As I said, the entrepreneur will put his money onto uh, some product to sell it and he will own that enterprise. So an enterprise is created by an entrepreneur and he develops and owns his own enterprise. He is a moderate risk taker and works under uncertainty for achieving the goal. He is a moderate risk taker. Money, as I told you, if you want to be safe, keep it in your pocket. <coughs> or we'll keep it in a bank. Or we'll deposit in a fixed deposit. If you keep it in a pocket, it will not produce any income. You put, if you put it in a bank, maybe some reasonable income. If you put in a deposit, fixed deposit, maybe they will give you a little more than what the bank will give you. But an entrepreneur will invest it. Make a note of this word investment. Make a note of this word saving. Make a note of this word security. Make a note of this word risk. Now he will take a moderate risk. What is the guarantee that this bag will sell? He may not be able to sell it. If you walk through the life of many entrepreneurs, they have failed many times. In the earlier class, I talked to you about the founder of, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, KFC, how he lost everything. We talked about the Kevin Care products how this man invested only 15,000 rupees on a project in competition with somebody very big like Godrej. So he takes risk, moderate risk taker, is innovative. He will start thinking in a different way. What are all the projects that are available? What are all the products that are available? What is required in this society is an innovator. Let me link it with what's happening around COVID-19. We're all locked down and many new products have come. Many new products have come. One such product is the mask that we are using. For the first few weeks, there was a huge shortage of uh, masks. These masks was already there. The product is not invented. People who, who had some problem of uh, breathing, maybe uh, wheezing, or th those who have a lung problem, or dust allergy, they used to have this mask. But all of a sudden, it became a common man's requirement. So, an entrepreneur will immediately identify a demand and look at the masks which we were wearing in the first week of the COVID-19 and look at the mask which we are now wearing. They have started designing masks to match their dress. They are innovators. I saw a mask which can be attached to the spectacle frame. 
if you put it here, there's a pain here. Right? Similarly, the hand sanitizer. Look at the various types which have come. So, they are innovative. Whether it is Honda, whether it is Toshiba, whether it is, uh, you know, uh, any company for that matter, they have a research and development department, innovation. Is a persuader of deviant pursuits. Persuader. He will persuade. For example, um, if um, we are used a particular product, he will come and persuade, why not my product? Deviant means deviation. Pursuit means pursuing something. His mindset is, why should I not be different? Why not we make this change in this society? And he reflects a strong urge to be independent. A strong urge to be independent. The safest thing, the easiest thing, you know, to be employed by somebody. That's what Steve Jobs says. Don't be influenced by the dogma, which means living somebody else's dream. The safest thing. Is to work for somebody. There's nothing wrong in that. I'm not for that for the, for a moment suggesting that all of you should start your own. Everybody should start their own. No, I'm not saying that. You can join a company and become a very senior executive. Look at what's happening in the world today. Sundar Pichai, all the way from India, he's heading <coughs> one of the biggest American companies, Google. Satyam Nadella, Indra Nui. So, you can also become an executive and climb in those lines. But if you decide to be an entrepreneur, check whether you have these qualities. Hurts to be independent. They don't want to work for somebody. 9 to 5 p.m. job. They don't want to be enjoying the security, quote-unquote security. Today, there is no security even in a job. Persistently tries to do something better. Can I improve? Can I improve? Can I improve? Let's say that, uh, let me go to the my old example of um, uh, this bag. He will start making it and then start redesigning it. In what way? This can be different. This can be different. Can I use a different combination? Can I use this for different age group? This looks to be a, a, a handbag for kids. Maybe a first standard, second standard, a kindergarten uh, thing. Will a um, lady carry this? So having decided to be in this business, in what ways I can do it? Can I do it for teenagers? In what way it should be different? Can I do it for senior citizens? Can I do it for school teachers? Can I do it for doctors? Can I do it for this person, that person? In what way I can be innovative? So this is the mindset of an entrepreneur. Is dissatisfied with routine activities. They may not be happy with the 9 to 5 p.m. slot. They want to be different. They want to be... Uh, Every day should be different for them. Every day to be different for them. They are prepared to withstand the hard life. Working very hard, you know. Somebody said, I resigned my 40 hours job to become a 24 bar 7 person. If you work for a company, you work 40 hours a week. But if you are on your own, there is no... Uh, holiday, there is no Sunday, there is no Monday, there is no morning, there is no evening. You are working all the time, all the time. So, or do you have this mindset? Even on a Sunday, an entrepreneur will open his office, will go and do some work. Hard life, long hours. You should be willing. It's determined but patient. Determined. Determination is very, very important. 
make a note of this word determined is very clear i am determined to succeed it is said edison tried about 1000 filaments which did not work somebody asked him have you not failed 1000 times for which edison said no i found out which 1000 elements will not work which 1000 filaments will not work so persistent okay is determined and patient there is a word there is a beautiful uh, poem in uh, in tamil bhakti yudayar kaaryathil padarar vittu mulaikum tanmai pole melle seidu payanadeivar those who are determined committed bhakti yudayar kaaryathil padarar they will not be re- they will not be restless vittu mulaikum tanmai pole which means if you plant a small little seed let us say you plant a banyan tree seed just because the banyan tree is going to be a large tall tree it will not grow faster than any other tree slowly 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 it will grow they will be very very patient you see many of the companies next time when you go out in your own place um, find out how many companies are there how many enterprises are there i would strongly suggest having taken up this subject of entrepreneurship read the autobiography of successful entrepreneurs there is a book by um about um, uh, infosys uh, founder Akio Morita the founder of Sony Corporation made in Japan read that book Steve Jobs life history you should read TVS founder TV Sundar Mangar life history you can read read the life history of Ambani's and you will know how patient they were Okay. exhibits a sign of leadership as we go in this subject we will understand what is leadership what is managing they are leaders they are pace setters when everybody will be sleeping and these people will be working when everybody will avoid risk these people will take risk He exhibits a sense of competitiveness you know in business you have to be competitive price wise you should be competitive model wise you should be competitive utility wise you should be competitive otherwise you will be wiped out in business did you notice one thing you're all grown up you're in the plus 1 just check if i am correct or the mobile phone prices coming down or going up the call rate is it coming up going down or going up computer prices no what's happening today is prices are coming down but the features are going up there was a time when you had to pay a very high price for a smartphone but today the prices are coming down the competition will make you will force you to reduce the price so competitiveness they are highly competitive as an employee you may be competing also maybe with your counterpart maybe with your colleague in the company but as an entrepreneur you will be highly competitive they take personal responsibility i went to a managing director's office some time back there is a huge placard on the top of his head the buck stops here he says i am responsible ultimately let's say a customer is unhappy he is going to the court 
for a consumer uh, uh, grievance, the MD will say, I take the responsibility. An employee may not be able to take the responsibility, will not take responsibility in more cases. But the owner, the entrepreneur will have to take responsibility. In fact, even the law requests, he has to take responsibility. You know, we have uh, various uh, labor law uh, regulations. One such thing is called Factories Act. If you are an entrepreneur and if you have a factory, if an accident takes place, the MD will be the first person to be charge sheeted. He cannot say my manager was negligent. He cannot say my operator was negligent. He will and he should take personal responsibility. He is oriented towards the future. Now this is a very important quality of an entrepreneur. He is oriented towards future. Supposing he is selling a product, he is making a product and selling. Just because this product sold one year ago, is it a guarantee the next five years it will sell? In fact, go back in your life about five years, six years, seven years and look at all the products that you used once. What happened to those products these days? Do you remember a tape recorder? Do you remember a, a transistor? Go and ask your parents whether they know what's called a gramophone player. Like human beings have um, a maximum years beyond which they cannot live. Let's say 80 years, 90, 100, maybe 110. Have you ever come across people working 500 years, 300 years, 200 years, 150 years even? Similarly, a product also has what is called, please make a note of it, product life cycle, PLC they used to say. Product life cycle. The, the, the best of the telephones have a maximum period beyond which they will not be in the market. So, these entrepreneurs are oriented towards future. They will start asking, what is going to be the demand for this product? Will it come down or go up? In the last class, I talked to you about Kevin Care when I was talking to you about the shampoo. Look at this man who was intelligent enough to come out with a sachet packet, one rupee sachet packet, chick shampoo. And he thought, and rightly so, the shampoo market is only 6 crores now. It will grow. Provided you take it to the village. That's why the innovation comes. Earlier we saw innovation. If you are going to keep this product for a rich man product, obviously there will be a stagnation in the market. Throw it open. Let anybody use it. I will give another example. Mobile phones. About 20 years ago, mobile phone was uh, used by only a class of people. I remember when I even touched the first mobile phone, it was my friend's mobile phone. I, we, we wanted to make a call. He said, make use of this, sir. First ever I touched up. At that time, I am talking about 30 years, 25, 30 years ago, each call will be around 20 rupees or 16 rupees per minute. Now look at it, incoming free, SMS free, WhatsApp free. Hmm? So as an entrepreneur, he will be future oriented. He will start thinking, it's in which field I am now in? What are my products? What are the raw materials I am using now? Is there a better way of re redesigning this product? What else raw materials can I use? Is there a cheaper raw material? Should I make it or should I import it? Right? So he has to be looking at the future. 
I'll tell you one more example. <coughs> there was a time even detergent soaps were used only by middle and upper middle class people. And at such time, the Nirma washing powder came. He took the washing powder to the platform to the swim, slum dwellers and he knew the future is going to be there. Mahatma Gandhi said India lives in villages. This is how the business expanded, always looking at the future. A day will come, we will not use this product like for example Sony's Walkman. I don't know how many of you uh, are aware, go and ask your parents. They will say, yes, Sony Walkman was once popular. But what happened now? All the music, everything is combined to your mobile phone. And last but not the least, tends to persist in the face of adversity. Adversity means difficult times even in difficult times. See, at least if you're in a job, if the company is in problem, you can resign and go and join some other. But once you have invested on a business, if you're an entrepreneur, where will you go? You have to sell the whole property, maybe an acre of land or, or two grounds of land, whatever that you have, it's very difficult to sell, but he has to stay foot in that industry. There are cases where people failed in an industry, people failed in a business, but came back like a phoenix, they came back and started doing very well. So these are some of the um, uh, characteristics of an entrepreneur. Some of the characters, not the only. Unless and until you have this or you develop this, it will be very, very difficult for you. But the field is so rich. We talk about India becoming world class. It's already becoming world class in many areas. There's going to be a keen competition between China and India. In the next 10 years, it's going to be a green field for anybody who wants to start their own venture. Check whether you have these qualities in you. Read, as I said, autobiographies, Infosys, Narana Murthy, Steve Jobs, the Reliance, founders of Reliance. Then you will understand what it means. In the next class, we are going to understand what are the functions of an entrepreneur? What are the functions? Let's see next week. All the best.